There's several in the area. I want to make sure we get that right. Oh, it's what okay. brings you back to this? Well, we just wanted to make sure everybody had an opportunity to have a nice, peaceful uh, protest or march and, uh, and then make sure that it was accessible for everybody. We had a good success in doing that today. Okay, and what do you make of the issues in play here? We're talking about police relations and race relations. Well, I think uh, it's been said many times over the last uh, matter of months that uh, it all has to begin with dialogue, and that's uh, what we're hoping to accomplish uh, uh, every time that we come out into the community. And, and, uh, like I said, it all has to begin with everybody understanding the other's point of view. Was this a permitted event? Did that make a difference? You know, I believe they did attempt to get a permit from the city. I don't know whether or not they did it in time, but you know, it was one of those things that we felt uh, was important to allow to occur. That was a terrible tragedy, and uh, made more so by the fact that one of the uh, Dallas officers that lost his life worked here for many years. And, uh, was actually a friend of mine, so uh, it was a uh, it was a difficult evening. My prayers go out to there and their families, to the Dallas families. You knew Lauren Harris. I did. Any thoughts, memories of him you care to share? Well, I can tell you, he was a great, big, happy guy. Um, he always had a big smile on his face, and he always had a joke ready to go. And uh, uh, just a big guy with a big heart. I think that's how he's been described, and that was very a very apt description. When he went from dispatch to sworn and serve, that's a tremendous leap. It was, it was, but I think that was something that was always in his heart. He was a great dispatcher, of course. So, sorry, Andrew. So. More than we had. Anything you care to share that I forgot to ask? Thanks for your time. So, appreciate it. All right. Take care.